back at the uh, start of this year I reviewed this uh, cheap Chinese uh, colored set. Unfortunately it is not uh, very good. One of the biggest problems is uh, with this chuck the uh, internal taper here isn't running uh, concentric with the rest of the chuck and it might also be at a slight angle but I'm not sure about that in order to uh, try and fix this run out problem I got this uh, cheap pencil grinder from Banggood I think it was about 15 euro when bought through the uh, English warehouse but uh, Banggood prices they are like the weather they change all the time so uh, don't hold it against me if the uh, price has uh, doubled in the meantime they uh, did have to send it twice the first one never showed up and I guess I'll blame that on the uh, Brexit apparently it comes in three colors and uh, two different speeds none of the uh, boxes here are uh, ticked so I don't know if this is a 58,000 uh, or a 65,000 uh, uh, RPM model I don't think it matters both uh, probably run fast enough for uh, the job I need them to do so now let's find out uh, what color I got ah, it's a red one that's nice To be honest, I don't give a rat's ass about the uh, color, but it is uh, rather progressive for a uh, communist country like China to make uh, three different color models. On the other hand, there's no way you can actually choose between the different colors. That option just isn't there on the website. So we got some uh, grinding tools, an empty plastic uh, bottle, a looking glass thingy a coupling that's a collet a couple of spanners and the grinder itself there's um, no user manual other than uh, these two uh, pieces of paper that basically list the same information although this one has a uh, exploded view According to this paper, it's a uh, uh, 65,000 RPM model, and this paper says it's a 58,000 RPM model. According to this paper, the model number is 572226, and according to the sleeve, its model is IMDG 0.010K. Do they actually know what they are selling? I think this here is some sort of inline oiler as it fits between the coupling and the hose to the uh, grinder. I have uh, no idea what kind of oil I should use or how much I should uh, put in here but I think a uh, lightweight oil would be uh, my best bet. I guess since there is no uh, user manual anything goes found some uh, ISO 32 hydraulic oil that's the uh, lightest oil I have and I put some of the oil into this uh, small plastic bottle so I can easily fill this thing up and uh, probably also squirt a little bit of oil directly into the uh, hose to the uh, grinder I'm just back from the store to buy a, a smaller coupling um, the bigger one that came with the grinder that didn't fit my uh, small compressor how much oil should I put in there? fill it halfway well that should be enough uh, let's try it out see if it works if not this will be a short video Here we go. Well, it 
works, but it is uh, very easy to stop. Although the uh, compressor tank is uh, not even half full. I'm really hoping my uh, compressor is uh, up to the job. Anyway, now I'm going to make a holder for this thing using this uh, block of steel. I cleaned up uh, the block of steel with uh, some sandpaper and I'm uh, ready to start center drilling. Hopefully it doesn't move. Let's put a hole through this thing. Maybe some loop. And I'm up against the chuck. Damn. I just moved the uh, drill a bit forward. Let's uh, finish this. Up next is a uh, 15.5 mm drill and after this I will ream it to 16 mm. I had to switch to uh, the collet uh, chuck because the drill chuck wasn't big enough. Annoyingly this reamer has a 12.5mm uh, shank and I don't have a uh, collet for that so I had to switch back to the drill chuck. Looks like there's a bit of run out. And here we go. Well, this will take a while. I 
I think I can see the uh, rimmer. Yep, there it is. So that's done. It's a very tight fit. I might be able to push it in but I'm going to use my Dremel and try and make some more room. Turns out there's a slight taper on here, not a lot, maybe a four or five hundredths of a millimeter. So it took quite a bit of grinding, but it now fits very nice. Time to uh, drill some uh, set screw holes. I'm using the lathe to drill the uh, set screw holes. It's uh, more precise than my uh, cheap uh, drill press. And with the uh, set screws on the side of the holder, um, they won't affect the uh, center height as much as uh, if they uh, would be on the top of the holder. At least that is my thinking. As usual with my uh, projects, I uh, run into uh, some sort of problem, and this time it turns out I don't have any uh, M10 uh, set screws, so I will have to make some, and that means this uh, video just got longer, and for that uh, I apologize. Sorry. The uh, grinder housing is made from aluminium. So I've decided to uh, also make some uh, aluminium set screws in order to uh, prevent damaging the housing. So now I need to uh, turn this down to about uh, 10 millimeters and uh, then do some threading. I turned it down to about uh, 9.8 millimeters and uh, now I'm going to uh, thread it M10. Here we go. Oh, I wish I had a spindle lock. And that failed. Uh, damn it. I got the uh, thread started, but it is uh, very hard without a spindle lock. Um, I did have to remove a little bit more material. It just was too tight. Um, I'm now going to take it out of the chuck and put it in the uh, vise because uh, then I can use both hands to uh, turn the wrench. I guess uh, taking it out of the chuck wasn't very smart because uh, I will never get it to run concentric again. Well, I'll worry about that later. I uh, reinserted the uh, workpiece into the chuck and uh, as expected it isn't running uh, 
true anymore. But it is what it is and uh, I want to continue. So now I'm going to grind a slit in here so I can uh, use it with a screwdriver. So this is what happened after I uh, switched on the grinder and uh, ran it at full speed. I guess the unbalance in the disc uh, was too much and it uh, bent the arbor. Luckily there is a uh, second arbor in the uh, set of grinding bits I got from Banggood. These are the uh, grinding bits I uh, got from Banggood. This is the arbor that uh, just got bent. And this arbor here is uh, exactly the same. I think the problem is with these uh, grinding discs. The holes are uh, bigger than they should be um, to fit uh, snugly on this arbor here. So I'm going to try this uh, rather thin arbor again and uh, I will shorten it and that will hopefully help a little with the vibration. I'm ready to uh, try this again. Uh, this time with the uh, shortened arbor which hopefully will uh, help with the vibration problem. There's uh, less vibration this time, so that's positive. Here we go. I guess I will need to uh, switch on the compressor and uh, that will probably make more noise than that uh, old Allen Bradley frequency drive. I was able to grind a perfectly usable slot in here but uh, I must admit that uh, my little compressor isn't really up to the task. Now I'm going to try and cut off uh, 12 millimeters. that will be the uh, set screw and I'll do this while the lathe is running at a uh, slow speed. Now where did I leave my uh, air protection? Ah, there it is. With a uh, full tank of air it works uh, reasonably well, but uh, this little grinder drains that uh, tank in minutes, maybe even less. So then, so the uh, pressure is getting too low to be uh, effective, so I uh, will have to turn on the noise.
it took about seven minutes to uh, cut through this piece of aluminium with a uh, better air compressor I guess the time would be at least cut in half so here are the uh, set screws and they turned out uh, fairly decent even if I uh, do say so myself I'll uh, add a drop of oil to uh, prevent a galvanic reaction between the uh, uh, steel and the uh, aluminium well uh, that's finished I like it and so far uh, I'm also liking my uh, little bingo uh, grinder but uh, I do wish my uh, compressor had just a little more oomph I guess now I'm uh, basically ready to regrind the uh, color chuck but uh, that's something for the next video because this one will probably end up way too long and uh, no one will reach the end of the video I uh, do have a question for you guys any thoughts uh, on what tool bit I should uh, use to regrind the internal taper I have these uh, diamond burrs they might work and you've already seen this box of uh, tool bits maybe one of these discs will work or perhaps this uh, rubber arbor with one of these uh, sandpaper rings and uh, let's not forget the uh, small stones that came with the uh, grinder I looked up the uh, specs for an ER32 collet and uh, I took some measurements and there's almost half a millimeter to remove and that's half a millimeter on both sides so there's uh, enough material to uh, test and experiment a bit with uh, a few different bits anyway we'll see till next time to be continued recently my channel reached a milestone and broke through the million views barrier and that's quite a lot considering the amount of views uh, my earlier videos got although in my view there might be quite a few fake views among that million views and I'm pretty sure most of the uh, viewers never reach the end of a video but uh, still according to uh, YouTube analytics you guys collectively wasted 8 years and 167 days of your lives watching uh, crap I uploaded that's time you're never going to get back think of all that could have been accomplished in that time I guess uh, you don't want to know just like uh, I don't want to know how much time I spent making these uh, videos anyway I'll make another one as long as I'm having fun doing so to be continued